So here we are now, Techians, in our first step as we build our letter catch project or letter catch game. A 2D game wherein a child can uh, or you can help a child who has any difficulty in recognizing letter name and symbol. So be sure that you have watched the previous videos, especially the scripting basics from 1.0 to 3.0 or 1.0 and 3.0. Uh, if you haven't watched that, uh, I have the link below in the description box. So for our first step, let us uh, let's clean the hierarchy panel. This was the objects that we used in the previous uh, videos. So let's erase this all. We don't need this one. Hit delete. And let's head over to the scripts folder. We don't need these two scripts, so we're just gonna delete it also. Okay. So make sure that before you build before you set up the sprites and everything in our game uh, head over first to the file and build up oh, not build and run file build settings and make sure that it, you are selecting the windows mac and linux we're doing it on um, a desktop computer platform so if uh, if your build setting is correct then just close the build settings and head over to the project so first thing we're just gonna head over here in the game and change the resolution of our game and we're gonna make it full HD and then go back to your scene and there we have it we have a size of 1920 uh, by 1080 that's the that's going to be the resolution of our game so first things first we're gonna well actually we have done the first thing well next after we configured everything the build settings and set up our resolution let's we're gonna have to put the sprites the needed sprites uh, the primary sprites so we have here the background as reflected in its name so we're not gonna edit uh, so, uh, we're not gonna edit uh, properties here in the inspector panel so just simply drag it in your scene panel or you can just or if you don't want to do that you can just drag it here in the hierarchy it's the same and I'm going to resize it based on the camera oh well actually you can uh it's up to you if you want to do that but i i want to do it so i'm gonna do it resizing it in the camera and the sorting layer um we'll just set it into default so that uh this sorting layer right uh this one this here in this inspector panel this just manage the um the sprites in your scene panel everything that is in the default will be on the bottom and everything that is added on a new customized sorting there will be on the top uh, you'll understand that later so next let's have the player object which is the catcher so we're gonna drag it here and resize it so maybe I'm just yeah it's good. You can see on the game. Resize it like this. Okay, you can just copy the data here and retype it on your transform panel of the catcher game object. And I'm just gonna place the position here. Then next, we're gonna put the reference letter, which is the book. So I'm gonna drag it in here. The reference letter and for this first level uh, for this level this is the first level um, the letter that I want my learner to recognize is letter M 
so we're gonna put it down there that later so we have here the book for the reference letter we have now already the player and later on we will be including this uh, in the UI panel the reset button and the home button and we're also gonna drag this one the black hole the winner and we're gonna resize it like this and then the game over so there we have it but oh yeah we'll just put it uh, as is like that but in our game as we do our coding we're gonna deactivate this object because we don't want that appearing as the level loads we already have the winner and the game over what does that mean anyway we're just gonna to set it up there as active in our panel then what are we missing okay oh the reference letter so i'm going here to the sprites level one i'm gonna hit this first and yeah, like that i'm gonna resize it resizing resizing and here uh, from this point i will be showing you the property sorting layer so for example i want this letter to be I'll say let's zoom this, this out. If you want to zoom your uh, scene panel, just uh, move your scroll wheel in your mouse. Then hold the Alt to make the cursor like that, hand-like cursor, and you can just drag it from anywhere so that you can move the scene wherever you like, wherever and however you like. Say for example, I want this to be under the book, not like this. Uh, the letter M is over the book or uh, it's blocking some part of the book. Uh, I want to do it the other way. So we're going to use this sorting layer. Um, we can use it at default and we're just going to change the value in the order and layer, let's say, into negative 1. So <laughs> as you can see, uh, the sorting layer it sends or this sprite was uh, no, was sent at the back of the sprite uh, from this background and to this book so we're not gonna make it as negative one i'm gonna rename first here slide one let's rename it uh, letter m letter m or right, that's a correct letter and we're gonna correct letter m. so i'm not gonna do it as negative one let's say zero and let's just have this add sorting array actually it's already over the book oh it's the book it's the book that we are going to uh put in front of the m so let's select the reference letter that is the book so let's order the layer into one so there you have it as you can see, the book was uh, no, was brought forward of the letter M. If you don't want that kind of setup, then just set the order in layer M to zero. Or you can just select M and add a sorting layer. And I want to add and I want to rename it as letters. Name it however you want, but I'm going to name it as letters. To head back to the inspector panel and i'm gonna set this letter m into letter so everything that is not default will be at the front of this of the corresponding sprite so if I, if I set this book into letter and not this m let's say let's set this m into default and let's set the, let's set this reference um letter panel or the book into letter so it will be sent to the front or at the front of this game object but i don't want it like that so i want this to be letter also and this one to be default and i want to change the background of the color of this image 
um, color it however you like I want it to be like this one yep okay so there we have it we have the sprites that we just uh, that we're going to use or that we're going to see in our game now let's add the audio so for the audio uh, you can just uh, you can preview this by selecting it and here I click the play button so that's the letter A game over so whenever the player um, or whenever the player reaches a value of life which is zero so game over sound will be played and in the end, power up. So that's the sound of the power up whenever we use a power up. Missile or it's like a jet. I downloaded the these audios, these audios from freesound.org. So credits to that. Start game. We're gonna put or include start game. And play on awake, meaning when the game loads and uh, it, it reads the awake, so it's going to sound. Or it's going to play so we're just gonna stay it as is like that start game we're not gonna change anything in here so if you play that yeah, yeah. it's like you're initializing uh, there, uh, as if there's a battle that's going to happen well anyway so that's the start game it's up to you if you want to add this audio but for me this is cool I guess <laughs> uh, and then we have the wrong letter and we're gonna put it. so this is not the only audio that we're going to use since that this level is letter M uh, so we're gonna uh, include the letter M audio as well but for this audio we're gonna unselect the audio so because when we uh, set this into true when we hit the play button, it will sound the end, which is um, not necessary. This will only be activated or this will only be played whenever the catcher or this catcher um, catches the letter M that is going to fall, uh, fall rather, not full, that is going to fall at a random position. So, um, and the wrong letter as well. We're gonna include that in our hierarchy. And of course, the power up. Um, no, we're not gonna use the power up or we're not gonna drag the power up here. Instead, we're gonna drag this um, as audio. No, um, yep, we're gonna drag it actually. Sorry for confusing you. Anyway, we're gonna drag this one here. And unselect or set the play on awake into false make sure also the wrong letters uh, the play on awake is set to false and there you have it so let's check we have now the catcher the player and the reference letter the reference letter panel the gate win um, game over and this one so the rest this one and this one we're gonna use it in the or for the UI panel so that's it for setting up the game. See ya in our next video.